Hey what's up guys, here is a better way of heat anodizing if you're just starting out and you do not want to use a torch. I've actually gotten pretty very good results using this method. This is with an electrical oven. Not everybody has a torch or a gas stove. And I have the temperature. You want to use a digital temperature gauge. Temperature is about about 1100 degrees right now. Uh, notice the first color changes at 800 degrees. It was a light bronze gold color. Not about a thousand or eleven hundred degrees gives you a darker bronze color so let's check it so out right now the coils are red hot and the parts been sitting on there for a few minutes and it's a very dark bronze color I don't want to go past eleven hundred degrees from my experience but that's about as dark as I can get it go ahead and put it in my Windex clean it Looks nice. I'm wearing gloves because uh, I use the tweezers and when I place it on there, 1100 degrees being a couple inches away from it definitely will send your hairs. Got a couple more standoffs I'm going to anodize for you. Now these are the steel standoffs that I've already polished using the drill. So let's go ahead and heat it the temperature. About 1050, 75, right under 1100 degrees set this on there see that coils a uh, light red it's not red hot it's just before it gets very red hot but if you turn off the lights you can see it let's go ahead and watch as that part turns a nice bronze color Alright, have the camera off for about 30 seconds and it's pretty dark now. Looks to be about right where we want it, so I'm going to go ahead and take that off. Give it a little inspection. Looks good. Put it in the Windex. Now for the last piece. I usually set it on the spot that is the reddest. You just turn off the lights if you can't see it that well. Now if you have it at the right temperature you can't leave it on too long. That's why it's always better to use a digital thermometer. But if you, you could just make it red hot or right before red hot. Stick it on there and just carefully monitor the color and then take it off when it looks good. It's, uh, it's a lot easier to overdo it with a torch than with a, a stove because the torch, the actual heat from the torch is much hotter than the uh, electric stove on a lower heat setting because you can actually control the heat whereas with a torch you only control it by the amount of time that it's on there and it's easy to get uh, inconsistent colors or dark spots you can already start to see it turn a light bronze color I'm going to let it sit on there for a few more minutes just to make sure it got thoroughly heated. I right, left it on there for a few minutes. Let's take it off and look at it. Under preferable lighting conditions. Alright, got a nice bronze color. Now if you look at the other side, you got blue spots in it. So if you want to try to go for blue, you could uh, up it a little bit, but you got to carefully watch it blue it's you can get blue on steel but it's uh it's always been a tricky color for me uh bronze is just always looks so much better and consistent so if you anybody successfully does blue and it looks great 
please post some pictures on Instagram or make a video and show us that'd be greatly appreciated go ahead and set this in my Windex when it bubbles it bubbles off all that all the impurities on the surface parts are very clean afterwards all right here's an experiment here's a standoff that I went too far on I put it all the way on high made it red hot and this is the color it turned out it looks nice but I think I'll just go for bronze so what I did was I removed all the the blue and the gray that was on there and polished it back up now I'm gonna see if I can reheat anodize it and go for bronze alright I was able to heat anodize it a second time but as you can see it's not a it's not a deep bronze color like uh, if, if you get it right the first time the color comes out deep and vibrant you can remove the surface using sandpaper or scotch brite and on this one I use both to make sure I got rid of all the oxide layer and uh, when I reheat anodize it that's the color it came out so let's put it in Windex and compare the very the other first ones. one is the one I reheat anodized you can see it's a little darker the color is more neutral compared to the bronze, the vibrant gold bronze color. So it's always best to get it right the first time, but if you do overdo it, uh, you can take off the surface and try to do it again, but the color will not come out All as right, vibrant. that's how you get free bronze standoffs on the electric stove. Now on top, that's the ones we heat anodized a second ago. On the bottom are the Hinder Titanium bronze anodized standoffs that cost $25 a pair and in person or on camera can you tell the difference the only way you can tell the difference is with a magnet now the ones on top they will stick to a magnet and the ones on bottom are made of titanium setting I have it on on my electric stove uh, your stove will probably be different but the biggest advantage to the electrical stove in my opinion is this right here larger pieces now a torch does work but it definitely takes some time and attention to detail to do such a large piece like this with a torch because you're literally doing like a half inch of the part at a time and it just you gotta do it very very carefully to get it to match consistently. So we're going to try to do this with a stove. See what kind of color we can get. See how consistent it is. I already start to see the color change where the coils are. It's starting to get bronze. You may have to move the part around to get each part of it so the heat may travel all the way across It's already much darker. It's pretty consistent. See, it doesn't get any easier than that. You set it to the proper temperature, set the part on there, get 100% even heat distribution over the whole part. Right there's the finished color. See, it came out very evenly. There's some darker spots on the top area, but on the edges, it's a consistent color very nice bronze here it is next to the standoffs now the reason for the color difference is because of the finish on the steel this steel has a like a satin like a bead blast finish really and the standoff the more polished, polished the metal is the more vibrant the colors will be so on this is a dull 
bronze finish. Still looks great. Oh, this is going to go on a bronze anodized 0560, so look forward to the video of that. Now the color came out great. As you can see there, 0561 scale, which is FDE brown. The, tight, the uh, steel liner actually matches the FDE brown very nicely compared to the regular plain steel finish. Definitely see a nice bronze color to it. Almost matches perfectly, except for it's a little shinier, but the colors pretty much matched. And all we got to do is anodize the titanium, same bronze color, and anodize the clip. Should be looking very nice. Alright guys, I really appreciate the support, and if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel to be notified of future updates. If you guys have any tips on heat anodizing you'd like to add, please post them in the comments. And uh, hope you guys have a great day. See you later.